Welcome to the HPE Nimble Management Pack installation video. Today on the agenda, we're going to be looking at system compatibility, creating a least privileged user, installing the management pack, configuring the adapter instance. First, let's look at the documentation at docs.vmware.com. In here, type in true visibility suite documentation. And click on the first link that comes up. Here's a link to all the TVS management packs. So we're going to go down and find HPE Nimble first. And then under system requirements on the left hand side of all the requirements of this version of the management pack needs, as well as what user account permissions will need. Um, for the nimble accounts of any access will work. So once we log into the nimble, we can go to administration security. There we can add a new user. Under role, we can use guest. Give it the username we'll be entering in the management pack and a password. Now, if you'd like to configure SNMP, you go to alerts and monitoring, SNMP, and then verify your community string. Now, under the management pack configuration, let's log into the VROPS UI. up at administration, and then repository on the left-hand side. Scroll all the way down to the bottom to the add or upgrade tab. Here we'll go to the management pack we've downloaded. There's two options, install them pack if it's already installed and reset default content. You're only gonna need those on an upgrade of the adapter. Once we hit upload, And once this is finished, um, it'll bring you to the end user license agreement page. There'll be a checkbox to confirm. Now this next part's been greatly sped up for the video. It'll take much longer in your environment. Now we'll go down to add account. And then here you can give it a friendly name. And then we'll use the host name or IP address of the Nimble instance you set the LPU up on. Click the plus sign next to credentials and we'll type in the username and the password we've created as well as the community string if you chose to do the SNMP monitoring. Now we'll type in the host name. And we'll 
click on validate connection just to make sure it goes through. This was successful, so now we'll go to add. The first collection it runs, it will always show up in a warning state. This will go away in less than five minutes and turn green. If you have any additional questions, please reach out to your VMware representative. Thank you.